Hi guys, I'm going to talk about step two, removing fear and doubt in the manifesting journey. Now this step is so important because it can literally block you from achieving your goals and your dreams. Because to manifest effectively, you need to believe you're worthy of attracting those things into your life. Now, fear and doubt can manifest as your insecurities, low self-worth, prior conditioning, your past experiences. And to help remove these, you need to do some inner work and some inner healing. That might look like professional help, journaling, meditating, or speaking to friends and family. But the key is that you have to heal the wound and not the symptom. So say if your parents divorced when you were younger, you may have always carried a feeling of rejection, which maybe stops you from going to new clubs, new New groups like meeting new people because you've always got that fear of rejection and you might avoid then doing those things but in avoiding doing those things you're just trying to fix the symptom you're not actually fixing the wound which is from your past experiences and Roxy describes several techniques how you can do that and these are mastering your thoughts mantras visualization switching your language and changing your perspectives